Hi guys, welcome to Scene for Wrist. Just a quick video today because I'm going on three day getaway from London and I wanted to show you what each watch collector should take with him on his holiday when traveling. What's on my wrist today? I am wearing a Rolex Daytona 116520, white chronograph face. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. One of my favorite daily wears from Rolex. As you can see, it's clear in view. It's not clustered because of the chronograph functions as majority of watches would be. It's just amazing. It's a hybrid watch. It can be your sports stunner that you can take on a beach day. And also you can wear it with a suit. No problems with that at all. All options available. I will show you what accessories I usually take when I go traveling. Everything's gonna be based on my watch requirements. I'm not gonna focus on stuff like clothes. That's not the topic of this video. So let's begin. First thing I always take is of course Rolex suede pouch. Beautifully crafted by Rolex the logo on it. It's very comfortable, it's soft inside so the watch wouldn't scratch at all. Your watch would be safe in it. I always have one in my back when I uh, go travel. Second option is a bit more sturdy. It, it's a hard case. It's It comes from Panerai shop. That's the pouch that you'd normally get after service or a visit in a shop if you insist on getting one and the main thing I really want to focus on are additional straps that I always have on me in my bag the first option is of course classic black leather strap it's vintage inspired you can see this artificial aging done to this strap. I simply love this combination because I started as a huge vintage enthusiast so that's a natural way of me appreciating the old stuff and also we've got brown option if you want to be more casual and just stand out with white chronograph face that looks very amazing when matched together simply love them you can get this on amazon for roughly 15 quid or 20 quid if you want them the second type of straps i always have on me are so-called nato straps they are more sturdy and you can dive with these straps they are water resistant as they are made of the canvas They are actually my favorites and you don't need to buy any branded straps like Omega and Swiss made brands. I buy those in a pack of five for 30 quid and they are really amazing. The quality is really good and the price is reasonable so you don't need to pay a top dollar in order to get a very decent strap. That's my favorite NATO strap. It's black and gray. It's sort of James Bond styling, that Omega would call it. And the thing about these particular straps is that they are very thick. I think they are 1.5 times thicker than a Omega, Omega NATO straps. For me, they are just perfect. That's gonna be my strap setup for this trip, my three day trip. Okay, and let's now move on to the most important thing that you always need to have in your bag as you are a watch collector, I assume, and you love watches. You need to have this little complication tool, sorry, it's not complication tool, I mean spring bar tool with very sharp tip. I could have 
I could have um, chosen the Omega Spring Bar tool which I got with my Omega Speedmaster but this one is much more sturdy and it's smaller and it's very handy easy to pack anywhere so I've gone for this option instead alright guys I'll now show you a random combination that you can make uh, with your lovely timepiece I'll show you that based on a Rolex Daytona 116520 white face and I think I'll go I'll start my journey with a brown leather strap so I'll, I'll show you how this looks after this whole procedure is done Alright guys, so I've just fitted a new strap for a Rolex Daytona watch. It looks brilliant on this one. Let me know what you think about this combo. It's even more gorgeous than it was. My plan for those three days is to check each and every strap every day. So Friday today it's gonna be brown strap. Saturday is gonna be black strap, Sunday NATO and Monday another NATO strap. That's my tactic for this whole trip. Okay guys, so that's the whole setup I'm taking with me on my trip and I'm wearing a Rolex Daytona watch. Thank you guys for watching and please like, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more episodes to follow.